Ladies and gentlemen, and now the presentation of the award ceremony. with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce with us on the sidelines. And the starting lineup for the Nets. Harrison Durant in as the forwards. James Harden out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Griffin in at the five down low. And for Milwaukee, the foundation of this team, Middleton and Giannis, the three and the four. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. As a player, Clark, it must be hard to keep your emotions in check on opening night. Yeah, more of a relief than anything else, B.A., especially after you've been around for a couple of years. I only played the equivalent of five years, so I only had a handful of opening nights, but always special. And even as a broadcaster, I think it's exciting to see the start of a new season because that hope that everybody has is palpable. Now here's Middleton. That three's off the mark. Irving, the pass to Griffin, and good, coming on the assist by Irving. Irving doing a nice job there being creative and efficient with that beautiful assist. DiVincenzo can't hit. Brooklyn with the ball. Pass to Harden. And here's Griffin for three. Durant. Rebounded by Lopez. Middleton with it. And about a minute gone in the first quarter. And Lopez gets it to go. Taking it strong. Nice finish by the big fella. Way to get after it, Lopez. Pass to Durant. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Well, you know, in high school, he was a star. In college, the same thing. Durant got drafted second back in 2007, then immediately became an All-Star. Shoot two. First one falls for him. And Durant averaged over 20 points a game his rookie year. And B.A. also won Rookie of the Year as well. Since then, he's won just about every individual honor you possibly could. First ballot consensus Hall of Famer when it's time. And both free throws good for Durant. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Now Holiday. Down low. Here's Ana de Kumpo. That one falls. Nice Giannis. feed that time from Holiday. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. 
Harden, the pass to Durant. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Kevin Durant pulls it in. The Nets have gone two of three to get this one going. Here's Griffin. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. You know, one reason Giannis has won Defensive Player of the Year is his agility and mobility. He can stay in front of guys and stay connected to shooters, too. Harden against Holiday. Anadokounmpo, left side. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Three-pointer is up. Middleton gets the three to fall. Well, I like seeing Middleton stroking from downtown. That release of his, pure as white-driven snow. Pass to Durant. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. And Griffin the bucket on the assist by Harden. Griffin's got his second bucket of the night. Over the last few years, I think Harden has fine-tuned his playmaking skills. A threat for double-digit assists every night. Outside Holiday. To the left wing. Here's Anadokounmpo. Misses off the right iron. The Nets have gone three of five shooting so far. Pass to Harris. Takes a three. On target from range. You know, really good to see Harris playing with that kind of confidence because, you know, these shots will only help him get better. Outside, DiVincenzo. Holiday from long range. And the box hit again from deep. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's Irving. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Lopez with the steal. Anadokounmpo with it. Durant covering. DiVincenzo against Irving. On the wing, Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Here's Anadokounmpo. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Anadokounmpo has put a lot of work into his jump shot over the years. And you see the work starting to pay dividends now. For Giannis. He's burying mid range jumpers more consistently. Now here's Durant. Outside Irving. Pass to Harris. Beyond the arc. Basket is good. Nice setup from Irving. Irving's got three assists now in this one. You know, knocking down the three guys, that's one of the premier three point gunners in the NBA, Joe Harris. Holiday against Harden. The drive by Holiday. No luck on that one. Oh, excellent D there from Harden. For Brooklyn, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall. Back to Duran. Rebound, Milwaukee. Oh, gritty defense. Protecting the rim at all costs against a guy who has all sorts of ways to finish. DiVincenzo, pass to Anadokounmpo over Irving. Kept alive. And the jam by Anadokounmpo. Yeah, well, that's just a matter of outworking the defense there by Giannis. Beating them to the glass and sending it right back. Pass to Griffin. Back to Harris. Launches a three. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harris. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Connaughton comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Allen, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And it's Hill in for Holiday. So Brooklyn going with almost an entire new group here. Aldridge is checked in for Griffin. Claxton comes in for Durant. Brown, he's checked in for Harris. And it's Mills in for James Harden. 
Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Middleton outside. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. Knocks down the triple. Middleton's got six. Then put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. At a high-scoring first quarter, both teams really filling it up. The Bucks on top. They lead by three. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. And the Greek Freak says he's feeling comfortable offensively. See the goal right now. Uh, really well. We run plays over and over again. Our offense is not complicated. I know what I got to fight for. I know as a team what we're looking for. So right now I can see a lot of plays. Grant, have you ever seen a big man like Giannis who dominates with the dribble drive? I, I'm not sure I've ever seen that. I mean, well, Zion four inches shorter, but he might be the only other one in that category. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. They've definitely had a hot hand from three-point range to this point. Always nice to start out like that. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. George Hill out there with Grayson Allen. Then there's Pat Connaughton. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Portis in at the five. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. The Nets need to get off a shot here. And it's Irving missing. Milwaukee has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Boy, and Bobby Portis out of Arkansas. What a get for the Bucks. Terrific player off the bench. His size, his tenacity, and he's got a three-point stroke, too. And they'll get another chance. Back to Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. And when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. You know, that time I thought he did it with authority. Tremendous putback at a time when they really need it. Pass to Brown. Hey, expanding his range. They get it again. And here's Mills from the arc. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. Three points. Irving's got five assists tonight. Guys, this is where Mills thrives. He's ready to shoot as soon as the ball touches his hands. Excellent catch and shoot play. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher. So the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better. Trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment, Allie. Interesting. Thank you. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Outside, Hill. And he banks in the layup. Hill's got his first basket. Outstanding body control by Hill. Taking the contact like a much bigger guy would and finishing these buckets. Irving. That shot missing. Nice D from Allen. Pass to Connaughton. Now here's Portis. He's covered by Aldridge. Aldridge against Portis. Over Aldridge. That went a little long. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. And it's good for two. Time out, time out. And the Nets lead by three. Well, I tell you what, Kyrie is an absolute magician inside. I mean, it's obvious that he works on his finishing, but he works on big guy drills, too. That makes him even more impossible to deal with. I don't know if we've seen a better finisher in the history of the game than 6'5 or short. Well, you hear about the importance of confidence. 
you think that was something you always had as a player, Grant, or did you have to build that up? Well, I mean, success ultimately does breed confidence, and I had success, fortunately, at a young age. So you have to understand you have to always attack and you always have to believe in yourself no matter what the situation. Getting ready for the Bucks. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Giannis Antetokounmpo comes in for Middleton. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Allen. And Holiday subbed in for Hill. Holiday against Harden. And Holiday powers it home. Boy, don't let his position as a point guard fool you now. Holiday can flush it with ease. Millsap outside. Harris on the wing. Pass to Harden. Just five to shoot. Giannis with the rebound. The Bucks trail. Outside Holiday. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. And there's the lob. And Antetokounmpo with the snuff. How about the springs of this guy, Antetokounmpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean... He just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chants. The three, Durant. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Kumpo, that's good. Kumpo's got four points now in the quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Johnson finds Millsap. And the basket is good. Millsap's got this first bucket of the night. Johnson. You know, this is where Millsap excels. I mean, a great interior score. He has the size and touch to pulverize defense. Pass to Holiday. Now here's Lopez. Now Anadokounmpo. Over Harden. Anadokounmpo can't connect. Here's Harden. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Giannis with the rebound. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's DiVincenzo. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Durant inside. DiVincenzo covering. Durant's shot is off. It's stolen by Johnson. From deep. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Nets out in front, up two. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Brooklyn found themselves in a close game in the first. And in that period, the most they trailed by was three. Remember, they trailed after one, but a great second quarter gives them a two-point lead at the break. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nets' first half? What you like is many of their baskets come off assists. That's a sign of a team that's working together and functioning at a high level. No need to have this hero ball win. I'm going to shoot and no one else is going to get the ball. Nope, they moved it, and we'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. And Shaq, what do you think about Milwaukee? It's the work they've done in the paint that's impressed me the most. A lot of their points have come from the inside. 
They need to keep that production in the post coming in the second half. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. You look at Giannis Antetokounmpo, what a contribution. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Yeah, you know what, I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Kicking off the second half, here's Steve Nash's five. Duran and Griffin, the combo out front. Kyrie Irving out there with James Harden, and it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. Yeah, Duran and his teammates really in sync. I mean, helping each other out, facilitating for each other. That basket there, a real team effort. And KD always in the debate over who's the top dog in this league. And what's interesting is he doesn't really want any part of that discussion. He said, one thing I told myself, don't worry about who people say is the best player. Locking out distractions is key to achieving greatness. Harden against Holiday. Pass to Durant. Three-pointer. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Durant's got 12 points. Boy, Harden's got such a tremendous feel for the game and sees the whole court. He's a really slick creator. And stolen by Irving. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Now here's Harris. He's got six. Five on the clock. Can't get the bucket from 20 feet out. Milwaukee has gone three of six from deep so far. Griffin against Steven Chenzo. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Lopez. Over Harris. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Alan Kumpo. Lopez has got his second basket. Brooklyn's gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Irving with it. Middleton covering. And that one's good by Durant. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that hot. Out of Kumpo against Durant. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. Defensive foul. And a huge sigh of relief for Bucks fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. At the line for the Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo. At the line for one. What's up? You know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency, ultimately avoided all that drama. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to stay and build a winner with the Bucks, And you know what? He did just that, bringing home the NBA championship. What a reward for the fans in the city of Milwaukee and just tremendous character from Giannis. And the shot's good by Irving. Hey, the skills of Kyrie are obvious, but what isn't so obvious is his underestimated strength. Shot from 12. Middleton, no good. The Nets with the lead. Pass to Irving. Over Middleton. And it's Irving missing. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Portis, the pass to Allen. Back to Portis. Clock at six. Shoots over Brown. And the Bucks miss again. 
That's as high percentage as it gets for him. I mean, the defense really has to be mindful of not giving him that kind of space to operate. And he gets it back. And Griffin gets it to go. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Ana Kumpo with it. He's got 13. And he gets it to go. You know, this is one of the reasons why Giannis's teammates appreciate it. Because when they're open, he finds them. Outside Mills. Back to Irving. Uses the glass on the layup. Irving's got six. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Giannis Antetokounmpo talked to me about signing the extension to remain in Milwaukee. He said, my goal stays the same. Get better, day by day, step by step. As long as that's what we're all focused on, why not play for the Bucks 25 years? There is no reason for me to move. Well, he certainly found a home, Ali. Good stuff there. Pass to Irving. 133 left in the third quarter of the game. Griffin's shot is off. For Milwaukee, they've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Allen inside. He's guarded by Irving. Portis, the pass to Hill. Six to shoot. Banked it in off the glass. Now just a two-point Nets lead. You know, Hill is long and athletic, but deceptively strong, as he showed you there, using his body well. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. in for the Bucks. So the Nets making a switch here. 110 left in the third quarter. Outside Mills. Pass to Irving. And the layup is good. Irving's got eight. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Here's Connaughton. Here's Portis. Again, oh, Milwaukee. Fading back. Nobody there to even challenge him. If they play this right, they can go two for one. Yeah, they really have to work the clock right now. Pass to Mills. And it's rejected. Middleton outside. Shoots over Johnson. Middleton, no good. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Irving against Allen. Outside Irving. This one for three. The shot comes out. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. It's the Nets leading by just two and we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. But this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. Then there's Brooke Lopez. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Portis in at the four. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Middleton, no good. Brooklyn's gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Who poked away. Millsap, soft touch off the glass. And the Nets lead by four. That's what we call weight room there. I mean, Millsap's showing how strong he is finishing through contact. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And that one's good by Durant. Things started to click for him in the second half. You can tell the focus and the intent is all there. Harris against DiVincenzo. Oh, return to sender. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will keep it. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Aldridge has checked in for Brooklyn. Irving comes in for Johnson. Kyrie Irving. Five to shoot. Middleton against Harris. And that one's good. Middleton. Boy, I like the finesse and the focus that Middleton plays with. I mean, that's part of what allows him to finish off these tough hoops. It's Durant with a drive. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Ooh, I really like how assertive they've been. I mean, they've been trying to bully the defense on the interior throughout the second half. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Nets. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. They've really been on fire from beyond the arc tonight, too. I mean, a lot of their points have come from out there. And the Bucks making a change here. Anadokounmpo's checked in. Free throws good from Durant. Boy, you look at Durant's resume. He's already accomplished most of the big individual honors. League MVP, Finals MVP, scoring champion. On the wing, Holiday, defended by Harden. Harden against Holiday. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Not a whole lot the defense can do there. I mean, Holiday just staying within himself, under control, despite the aggressive coverage. Pass to Durant. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Right. One of the stories here, Kevin Durant. He's getting it done today. He just continues to deal damage inside. They've got to figure a way to slow him down.
checked in for Aldridge. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. He asked his players to really push the tempo. He wants to see quicker transition into the open court so they have a chance to score before the defense can set up. Trying to use their speed to full advantage, guys. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Outside Durant. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. For Milwaukee, they've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Here's on it, Akumpo. That one goes in. And it's now only a one-point Nets lead. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Yeah, that one's good. Irving. Yeah, you know, we've seen a much different version of him in this half, guys. He's been sharper, more focused, and more assertive. Middleton passes to Anadokounmpo, and they double up Anadokounmpo. And he lobs it up top! Unable to get that one. Oh, great D that time from Griffin. Irving with it. DiVincenzo picks him up. To the inside, Durant. Giannis with the rebound. Anadokounmpo's got five rebounds tonight. Griffin against Middleton. Back to Anadokounmpo. Puts up a three. That shot is off. The Nets go the other way with it. Pass to Durant. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And it's a six-point Nets lead. Durant's ability to score in a lot of different ways is huge. And he makes it look easy. Anadokounmpo with it. Guarded by Durant. Shoots from the baseline. Rebounded by the Nets. Durant's got his fourth rebound in this one. Shot on the wing. Rebounded by the Bucks. And here is Anadokounmpo. Shoots over Durant. And it's Anadokounmpo with the miss. Outside Durant. Inside. Griffin. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. That's one of the areas he's really improved. Durant's passing abilities have grown as his years in the league have grown. Timeout called the Bucks. They're losing by eight. 127 left in the game. player of the game, Kevin Durant. Defensively, they were not prepared for his inside game. They were not able to deny him the ball, and once he got it, he was so quick and able to get to work. Just a masterful performance in the paint tonight. I'm telling you, the added pressure of the road really brings out the best in him. You can tell he enjoyed playing so well in front of an unfriendly crowd. 127 left to play in the fourth quarter. Good chance here for Anadokounmpo. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Brooklyn has gone 7-14 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Harris on the wing. Pass to Griffin. Harden against Lopez. And it's good. Two points. Harden's got his first points in this one. Well, now it's just a matter of watching the sand fall through the hourglass. This game is wrapped up in a strong showing for the Nets. They had to fight for this one. With the game hanging in the balance a couple of times, they made winning plays, Grant. 
It's all about having a strong mentality. What's interesting is that any time momentum turned against them, instead of folding, they responded with their own attack. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And what a huge performance it was for Kevin Durant. Well, the defense just couldn't figure him out, and he continued to put it to him. Shooting two. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. Well, if you want to get an idea of just how valuable Drew Holiday can be to a team, look at what the Bucks gave up to get him in 2020. A bunch of first-round picks and some pick swaps as well. And they're pleased that they got it. And he ends up making the second. And that brings him within single digits. He's going to be kicking himself all night. This isn't the time to be wasting opportunities. There's 42 seconds left in the final quarter. Durant, pass to Irving. Shot clock at six. That's good from Durant on the assist from Irving. And the Nets lead by 11. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Now Irving. belongs to Brooklyn. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Kevin, that was a gritty road win. How do you evaluate your performance? Um, it's a tough place to play. You know, you hear the crowd, it was... It was loud as soon as we stepped on the floor. So, you know, we just tried to uh, play our brand of basketball and just keep growing. The crowd had nothing on you, though. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA, brought to you by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.